compared to back in the day with swords and shield, it seems fairly easier to kill someone. Uh, you know, the push of a button or just a trigger pull from a couple football fields away. Back then, it wasn't really the case. You had to be more up in their face and hands on. Uh, so we're going to get right into that. So a little background on the medieval period. Um, it took place between the 5th and 15th century, so it was almost a thousand years uh, for the Middle Ages. Uh, the fall of Rome happened around 450 AD, which is the 5th century. Um, the Visigoths were the first to invade Rome, and the Rome was pretty much the main ruler of the Medi Mediterranean Sea. So after they fell, all the colonies from around tried to come in and claim the <coughs> tried to come in and claim the uh, you know land. So it was pretty much a time of war, just trying to conquer what Rome had. Um, So on top of all of the war and stuff that was going on, the Black Death happened almost a thousand years into the wars. So you know, on top of all that warfare and all the death, you know, you got the Black Plague, the Black Plague, which is pretty much the cherry on top. Uh, it killed 30% of Europe's population, which was about 20 million people. And so, just a little background. I like the. Uh, picture over here, not only because he's naked, but because the picture itself is called the Sack of Rome, because Rome got sacked, it looked like it did. Uh, and then the other picture pretty much determines black death with all the dead bodies piling up, the warfare going on on the right, and then the religious issues also within the medieval period. And so now, all that being said, I'm going to get into some of the weapons and how they were used in combat. So sword types, if, if I wanted to mention every sword, we'd be here all day. Uh, they all pretty much start off from one sword, then they branch off into different other types of swords, and then because of all the colonies and different cultures, they all uh, varied a lot. So, long sword, pretty much a basic two hand. It could be used with one hand, but not that good. Uh, it's got a sturdy blade. Uh, you can actually switch the blade around and grab the blade. It's called a mortar grip or a murder stroke, uh, which you can see up there, he's using it to bash his face in. And the other guy is using a half sword thrust. The thrust is called a stab uh, against him. It's just a combat drawing. Um, so this is the blade. Uh, this little piece right here is a cross guard or a hand guard. It's used to protect your hands from you know, enemies that are hitting you. Uh, it's also used, like I said, using the mortar grip. You can bash people. Also with this pommel right here. Uh, it gives you a better grip so it can slide out of your hands, and it's also kind of the main point for hitting the helmet because with swords, you can't really cut through armor, it's just not going to happen. So you have to find the weak spots and use what you can. Uh, with other swords, a great sword, great sword's at least six feet tall. A lot of people will put these in the same category, they're not. Uh, that the great sword is pretty tall, like that's taller than me. Um, arming sword's pretty much uh, your sidearm, so. You know, things get dodgy, you whip out the sidearm, and it's commonly used with the shield. Uh, it's commonly used with the shield, so uh, it has, uh, army sword has other names, uh, bastard sword, one and a half hand sword, because some of them you could use two hands, but half your hand would be on the pommel. So, and with bludgeoning, so these are weapons that are good against armor. Uh, so they can dent the armor and make it harder for them to move or maybe knock them out. So a bludgeon is pretty much any blunt weapon that can like bash. So like even a stick on the ground, a hammer, a mace. Uh, a mace is pretty much a symmetrical head and it's so you can pick it up anytime, anywhere and just start bashing. Uh, some of them are flanged maces, which basically have parts protruding from them that dent the armor. And James McDonald, uh, the author of, he has a degree in the Master of Arts, the Master of Sciences, and he's a researcher in everything medieval and old history. And he says every part of every weapon has an offensive ability, uh, which is why the sword back on the last slide has, you can flip it around and use the other end. The Warhammer is a 
reinforced hammer. It's got these metal strips down the side. A lot of the weapons have those. They're called blankets. They're used to reinforce the weapons so that it doesn't break during combat. It's got a spiked back. Uh, it needs to be top heavy because the sword, a lot of the weights in the hands, so, so the blade has to be nimble and quick. While the hammer and mace, all you have to really have to do is just dash. And we get later into the medieval period. Uh, as the armor got better, the weapons had to get better too. So pole arm weapons were pretty much a four to 14 foot staff on with any type of head. It could be a mace, could be a hammer, could be what so have you. And pole axe was pretty much this one down here. It's got an axe head on the front, a spike on the back, and a spike on the top for a staff. And these ones actually could cut through the armor because it had to because everybody was pretty much in armor by late, four, by late 14th century. Um, pole hammer, it's that one up there, just a big glorified hammer pretty much, same as the war hammer on a 14 foot staff. Uh, Bardiche, I would consider a Bardiche to be an axe, it's just a more glorified axe. Uh, you can see some Bardiches right here, and obviously they come in a bunch of different types just because there's so many different types of weapons. This one's a Lockhammer axe, which is only Scottish. Uh, that was strictly used for Scots. Uh, there's more pole arm weapons. Some people consider a spear to be a pole arm weapon. You know, we've been using spears since the Stone Ages, and you know, it's pretty, you know, it's a classic. You can't use a spear to long pointy stick. So, uh, usually spears or lances, also lances are just a big spear that's thicker. Uh, you can see some, right here. these are lances, those are spears, they're pretty much using cavalry to like stab people so you can get like more momentum to the horse. Uh, a lot of spears have winged heads on them, uh, so if you stab too deep you won't go too deep because you can just pull it right back out. Uh, halberd is, it's got an axe blade on the front and a hook on the back. A lot of these are the same, uh, and there's so many of them. Uh, so maybe you have two of them binding, so uh, they're trying to pull back together, but you know they're stuck. So you know, those are things that happen during their. Uh, a lot of the hooks on these weapons are used to like snag enemies. Uh, there's one called a bill hook, which is specifically for snagging people. Uh, it was mainly used to uh, snag horsemen off the back. And then now that we go over the weapons, we're gonna talk about how swords actually used to deal with the enemies. So I think this is a pretty good representation of a knight in armor. Uh, anything, obviously you can't have armor over the joints because you need to move your arm, so they're not that weak spot. Uh, and that's pretty much where sword goes in. They go in for the joints and trying to get stabs in there, uh, even through the eye holes of your helmet, you know, and all while blocking them and trying to worry about the same thing for yourself because you know they're trying to do it to you as well. Uh, and then I actually have a video that is a GoPro of a battle.
pretty much so many weapons to go over. Um, I didn't cover artillery, uh, just because that, that wasn't the type of weapon I had in mind. Artillery would be like these trebuchets, which is a catapult, uh, some rocks getting thrown from the castle walls, crossbows, uh, you know, stuff like that. And here's some of the weapons we remember before. Pull hammer, pull axe, uh, still a knight that's got the weak points you just see without the chainmail. And pretty much just, I think it was a lot more difficult to kill someone back then. Not trying to rip on the army or anything, you know, I, I wouldn't be able to make it through the army. I've seen boot camp videos, uh, combat helmet, and it just seems like this is more hands on, like, that right there, I wouldn't be able to stab somebody, my hands would be trembling, and my, I'm trembling right now just talking. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, just, it was a lot more intense and brutal back in the day. And that's it. Um, 